So let's learn how to use tool palettes and how to create our own custom set of tool palettes in AutoCAD. Alright, so first thing you need to do is pull up tool palettes in AutoCAD and that can be sometimes difficult. Um, the easiest way to get there is if you hit control 3 on the keyboard, you'll see something kind of appear that looks like this. Now this may dock itself in this other corner over here. Wherever it ends up, make sure you kind of just kind of familiarize yourself with where it's at. So now tool palettes comes with several different things already on it. You have uh, different callout variables, north arrows, graphic scales, flow charts, all sorts of fun stuff that comes straight out of the box out of AutoCAD. And honestly, anything with the lightning bolt is means it's dynamic. So if I click on, let's say for instance, this graphic scale, and I place it into my drawing. If you click on it, you can click the little down arrow and you can create kind of whatever you want. Now, personally, I create my own blocks and my own stuff for this, but AutoCAD gives you a lot of stuff out of the box that you can utilize right from the get-go. But let's face it, we all have our own stuff that we want to see on tool palettes. So how do we get it over there and create our own? So the easiest way to do this is honestly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Customize Palettes, which will pull up the Customize Dialog box here. Now this is where we can create our own palette group, and I can just call it uh, my company name, AIMCAD, like so. And then under that, I can put New Palette. So if let's say I'm more civil, right? So I can drag that under the AIMCAD Palette group. As well as, let's create a new palette. And this one might be, be called AIMCAD. Now, technically, this is kind of not the best of ideas to call it just AIMCAD, but we're going to go with it anyways. So there it is right there. It's called AIMCAD. Now, the cool thing about setting the group is I can easily just kind of isolate it to just AIMCAD. And you'll notice now is I have only Civil and I have only AIMCAD on there now. Now, the cool thing about this is it's pretty easy to get things to the tool palettes here. Um, so first things first, and I'm going to do it the way I kind of find it works best is I'm gonna use Windows Explorer here to get to where I need to go. So I'm gonna come under here to my CAD standards folder and I'm gonna go under my AIMCAD, there we go. I'm gonna go to blocks and I'm gonna go to engineering and you'll see I have a few blocks right there already set up for this. So what you can do is honestly, once you know these are your blocks, so these are the commonly used items, is you can just drag and drop them on here like so. Just like that. Now, once you're done, you can close this out. And honestly, it's pretty simple from here. So honestly, now if I want this block in my drawing, I can click on it and it's gonna put it into the drawing. Now, there's a few things you can do to kind of save yourself a bit of hassle. So let's say we're working in a set scale. Let's say we're working in three inches equals a foot. In fact, let's go to something more common I've been using, quarter inch equals a foot. So if I click on this guy here and I go to the properties of him, you can tell it to use certain layers, certain colors, certain line weights all the time for these set objects. So the cool thing is, is A, you could set a scale, but most likely what you're going to do is tell it, hey, whatever dim scale I'm currently using, make it that scale. Um, and then it's pretty simple from there, and you can add a rotation, or you can have, hey, prompt me for the rotation. And you can also explode it on impact or an X reference. You're probably going to want it as a block, not an X ref, though. Um, and then more importantly, you can also set the color to use here as well, or the layer. So if you're, this is, for instance, this is a clean out. So it could be either storm or sanitary. Odds are I'm going to be using it in the storm capacity though. Um, so I can set it so it automatically goes on my storm structure layer for my objects. So it's just kind of a few things and a few quirks you can do there. And honestly, you just click on it and you put it into the drawing and it'll automatically scale up or down. Now notice it automatically scaled because I set this to quarter of an inch equals a foot, which my dimension scale is annotative. So boom, it automatically grabs the correct scale. So it's just a really quick way to utilize tool palettes to make your life a wee bit easier. Now, you can go even farther with this. Uh, it really depends on kind of how complicated you want to make it. Um, but you could really go in here and you can rename each one of these palettes and you can make a separate one for proposed storm and again it saves all your stuff and then you can add another new palette and you can call this proposed 
And again, you don't have to spell it all out. And I'm gonna call this one just sand. I'm getting, getting, uh, there we go. And just, again, as I'm creating them, notice it automatically starting to appear here and you can close it out. Now, the cool thing is, is again, remember that clean out could be on both items, right? Because technically, yes, it could be a sanitary item. So I'm gonna go back to here, pull up my blocks again, and you'll notice I have all these fun things here. Um, let's go to CAD standards, aim CAD, and let's go to blocks again, engineering, and let's just drag clean out, and we can have them under two separate palettes, but under properties, I can have it under two separate layers as well. So this one would go under proposed sanitary layer, and the other one would go under proposed storm. So just a quick, easy way to use tool palettes to make your life a little bit easier. Just remember, once you put them in here, you can right click and go to properties and you can change a lot about these guys. The other thing is to remember is where are these tool palettes saved? Remember this because this is good if you're working in a multiple workstation environment. Here's where those tool palettes are saved. So if you were to path this to a network location, then everybody else would be getting these updated items or better yet, what I do is I like to let people do what they're gonna do is I give people the option to path to it and they can copy it onto their own computers. But once you have this all set, you can easily just copy everything out of here, put it on the server and say, hey, do you want all those settings? Sure I do, and just copy and paste it into this location and now they have your tool palettes as well. So just note, you can do a lot of cool things with it Again, whatever you guys wish to do, go for it. Tool Palace is amazing, um, but it does take up screen space. So if you're dealing with a one monitor situation, uh, you might not like it. So again, make sure you like and subscribe below. Any questions you may have, leave them in the comments. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. And again, anything you wanna see, any new videos or whatever, feel free, put it in the comments. I'll be happy to make them for you. I'll see you guys in the next video, as I said before.